Many of us have this preconceived notion or expectation that we finish high school, study a specific field in post-secondary school, and then find a job in that field. But what happens when aspirations change? My name is Samantha Beglow, and this is the story of Irene Uchida. Dr. Irene Uchida was born in Vancouver, British Columbia in April 1917. She grew up playing the piano, the violin, and the organ. She even played for the church services in her hometown. In 1941, during World War II, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Because of the fear this created, Japanese Canadians were seen as a threat. Irene was forced to stop her studies of English literature from the University of British Columbia, and her family was sent to a Japanese internment camp in the interior of BC. During this time, Irene became a school teacher and taught Japanese Canadian children within these camps. Yes, you heard me correctly. She was 21 years old, and despite these very difficult conditions, she taught roughly 500 Japanese Canadian children. Towards the end of World War II, Irene began an undergraduate degree in English literature. Irene had plans to complete a master's degree in social work. However, near the end of her degree, Irene took a zoology class that sparked a keen interest in science and genetics. Hmm. This was a field that, prior to World War II, was almost completely dominated by men, with the contribution of female scientists rarely acknowledged. I also grew up playing the piano, and I loved drawing and painting. Like many young girls, I never imagined I would grow up to be a scientist. This career path was not one I was educated on, nor was it one that my parents, teachers, or peers were aware of, celebrated, or even encouraged. During high school, I expressed a keen interest in biology and psychology, and a desire to work in a profession that helped others. Career paths that were suggested to me included counseling, nursing, and social work. Never was a career path in scientific research a presented option. As such, and similar to Irene Uchida, I completed a bachelor's degree through the Faculty of Arts with the goal of becoming a counselor or a social worker. It wasn't until three years into that degree that I met a professor that saw my interest in the brain and my desire to answer scientific research questions. Nearly 75 years prior to my journey into science, Irene Uchida was, with the help of one of her professors, also realizing her scientific potential and beginning to pursue a PhD degree in zoology. Irene completed her PhD in 1951 and went on to work as a professor across Canada on genetic birth defects. She completed countless studies in both animal models and clinical patients supervised a number of graduate students, won countless awards, and became one of the most successful women in the field of genetics. Irene figured out that exposure to radiation, such as x-rays during pregnancy, was one cause of trisomy 21, or Down syndrome. She was at the forefront of bringing cytogenetics, or the study of chromosomes in cells, to Canada. And she was the founder and director of the first clinical cytogenetic laboratory and program at McMaster University in 1970. Amazingly, Irene was made an Officer of the Order of Canada in 1993, which is the second highest honour the country can bestow on its citizens. I'm much earlier in my scientific career, having just completed a master's degree in May of 2018 and shortly after beginning my PhD. 
We grew up in very different decades. We experienced very different struggles and we study different research topics. However, one thing that Irene and I both have in common is making the decision to give up on one dream in order to pursue a new and different dream. So what happens when aspirations change? Well, to start, the world doesn't come crashing down on you. It can be difficult at times, but ultimately you get to gain new experiences, form new perspectives, and decide what provides motivation and sparks joy. It is awesome and so important that we are slowly breaking this preconceived notion that youth need to decide on a career path in high school. Encouraging the pursuit of multiple interests and the acceptance of change is incredibly empowering, especially for young girls.